Right, I'm going to try two different range extenders today. Um, the area I'm flying in, lots of trees around me, so it's not the perfect spot to test, you know, the maximum range you can get out of the DJI Mavic, but it is the kind of terrain I fly in all the time, so this is a realistic test for me and, and I would imagine for most people out there. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the two range extenders I'm using. Okay, the first two, well the first one, but comes in two, is the little wire aerial ones you get. These are for 2.4 gigahertz only. And the second two, I'm not looking at the camera so I'm probably out of shot with all this, but never mind. I can't open this box. And the second one, will be the parabolic lenses which I've not taken off the film yet I'll do that before I do fly it with them obviously I'm going to try these two first though so these are supposed to be the best from the reviews I've seen online these seem to get slightly more distance um, but I do also want to try out the parabolic lenses as well okay so the first thing to do aircraft entered altitude zone that's fine. We're on a flight path here, but it's fine. I'm going to change the return home to 250 feet-ish. Uh, but you need to set up the transmission. Now you can see we're on 5.8 gigahertz there. That's no good to us. They're the top bands that you can see there, the 149, 153, etc. We want to be in the lower range bands. And we'll go for channel... No, we'll go for channel 3, if my big fat fingers can get it. Avoid the red bars. Uh, I'm out in a field here, so it's not so bad. And we're on 2.4 gigahertz, which is all these aerials will work on. And give you a lot greater distance anyway. Okay, we'll start the screen recording and we'll take off. Take off. Now we'll go up to an altitude. Home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We'll go to 150 feet. Put it forward a bit so that I'm still in signal. Okay, 150 feet there or thereabouts. Giving us clearance above all those trees in front. Well, I'll try and aim towards that chimney in the in the background so that we're doing the same flight on both. Weak signal already. It seems to have recovered. It's dropping in and out a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Quite low wind today, not had any wind warning so far, that's good. Remote control signal lost, there we go. So we'll wait for that to return to home. We've actually got the signal back there quite soon as well. Climbing. There is actually a plane coming over. Okay. 
Okay, it's not a bad first run. We'll see what we get with the parabolic mirrors on. Okay, we've got the parabolic, pa parabolic mirror set up on this one now. And we'll give this a nice uh, range test. See if we can get any further. Ones are empty again, so we'll go to channel two. And we'll try again. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Yeah, so we get up to 150 feet again. Okay, and we're off, and we'll head again towards that chimney. This was about the time we got signal drop last time, I think, so looking good so far. Looking very good. Right, seems to be dropping a little bit now. Seems to be back on track again. Brilliant. We're going to make it to the chimney. Which means we're going to have to increase the height. Because I don't know how tall that chimney is. Easy. Oh. I'm going to take it up to 250 foot. Again, it is safe, even in this fly zone. There we go, signal lost. Returning to home. See how quickly it picks it up on the way back as well now. It's taking a li little bit longer to reconnect on the way back than it did on the, the previous one, but it did get a lot further away. Okay, so the final results, uh, the TV aerial style ones, got 1,288 feet, which is approximately 392 and a half metres. Not bad, but not great. And the winner, and the one that will be staying on, 2,547 feet, over double. Uh, seven hundred and seventy six point three meters so a very very clear winner there and these will be staying on forever even the cat agrees no maybe not she's walking off in a huff now <laughs>